Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today in this quick video I'm gonna demonstrate how you can change history settings in Adobe Premiere Pro and this is very important because you want to make sure that you have the settings set up properly when you're working on a larger project you're gonna have as many settings as possible so that can you can revert the project and have a lot of steps back if you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and let's get started Okay, so this project that I'm working on right now, it's not a big project, it's just a demonstration. But how it's done, you gotta go to the window menu here, then you gotta bring up this history panel. Sometimes it's open, if you just installed Adobe Premiere Pro, it will be open. If it's not open, then you have to open it. And it's actually usually located on the bottom part. As you can see, I have a different layout for my workspace. and actually this is the layout that i think is really good if you don't know how to restore the default layout you can check my other video it's going to be listed in the description as well as an upper right corner you can check that link as well so as you can see i have quite a few history files done so if you want to just revert it i can go to any of these steps and bring them back so this is why you want to have as many steps as possible because if you're working on the project and you figure well i didn't need that change done on the footage or on the timeline then you want to be able to bring it back so for that all you have to do is just gotta go to this three lines over here then go to the settings and over here it says history states and the maximum amount for the history states is going to be 100 even if you put like 200 and click on it and go back to settings you can see there's maximum over 100 but I believe that when you just install Adobe Premiere Pro it's something like 20 which is really not that much and sometimes you might run into the problem where you have changed something let's say like 20 steps away because those steps add up pretty quick as soon as you click edit it will add up another history state if you have to come back 20 steps later then it might be already gone but with the hundred steps usually you're pretty safe because if you have done some settings that were hundred steps away and you never notice it then it's probably not that important anyway this is gonna be keeping you much safer in case you working on a larger project and you've done a lot of changes so i hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more helpful interesting tip tutorial videos about adobe premiere pro and also if you have any comments question leave them in the comment section below hope you have a nice day and i'll see you soon bye bye